Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox, and today we're going to talk about the newest album from Ak Young Lee, Yo Non. So this is the eighth studio album from the South Korean cellist, and this is the first time that I myself have dipped my toes into one of her solo albums, but I actually have heard her work before. She collaborated with Swans on the track Cloud of Unknowing from The Glowing Man. She's also had live performances with the likes of Thurston Moore of Sonic Youth and Stephen O'Malley of Sun, numerous collaborations with multi-instrumentalist John Zorn, and also collabs with, you know, Arca, Jim O'Rourke, and Laurie Anderson. I mean, the, the list just goes on. So, honestly, I'm not really quite sure what took me so long to actually listen to her music, but um, I'm really glad that I did because I think this new album over here is really great. It feels like it could be the soundtrack to, like, a David Fincher movie or something, but it could also be an accurate soundtrack to what it feels like living with the anxiety of 2020. The compositions on here are extremely intricate and mood inflicting as they weave themselves around the listener. And there's this really cool juxtaposition of like gentle and prickly sound. Like on In Stardust, for example. It has a really gentle beginning, but the progression that this track takes ends up sounding like reality is being torn in front of you. Also, the track Facing Your Shadows is another example of how Ak Young and the other musicians that are playing with her on this record here uh, really experiment with how they play with their instruments and turn out some like pretty mind-bending and cool sounds that sound improvised I'm not really quite sure but it's really cool nonetheless and adds this extra level of like unpredictability to the listening experience. I also wanted to point out the second track Yellow Porcelain Bird. Uh, that's one of the cuts on here that really feels fitting for the soundtrack of like some kind of movie or something. It's got a really standard out melody on it <laughs> but I would warn you going into this record it does have the ability to like slow down time around you if you do give it your full attention and just like what's depicted on the cover it feels a lot like sitting out by your window on like a really rainy cold raw day wrapped up in a blanket or something it's a pretty cohesive listen overall I mean all of these tracks are instrumentals but you know it's just one of those listens that really puts out a mood that uh, has the ability to grab you or who knows, you know, it might not catch your ears, I'm sure. But with that being said, I'm feeling an 8 over here on this new Ok Young Lee album. So I did look around online. I didn't see a physical copy floating around of this just yet, so maybe stay tuned. I'm going to link her band camp down below so you guys can listen to this record. And if you have checked this album out, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and share. And if you want more content from me, hit that subscribe button. Peace.